All right, guys, we're going to talk about these Fura S35VN knives. You know me, I'm always a sucker for a deal. I'm always a sucker for what could be the next great thing. So when it comes down to it, and I see a knife that's a premium steel in a budget overseas style blade, reel me in, guys. Um, so, you know, after the success of seeing the Gonzo line just doing so well, seeing how good those uh, Y start. Uh, knives and D2R, I decided to take the risk. And these knives, there's many of them, many different blade shapes, all very similar though. Pretty much the same kind of handle and body design, just different blade shapes. And they're in that $20 to $30 range, depending on the blade. They're pretty small. They're all pretty much from an inch to like two inch blades. Um, pretty much all had the same locking system as well. What this does, and oh, there it is. There's a little bit of a lock bar here that has a ball on it, and then the blade has two detents, one that will catch in the opening and one that will catch in the closed. So you hear there's a little bit of a snap to that, and of course just pretty light pressure will close it up. Pretty smooth too, it rides on, looks like a, a phosphor bronze washer and a nylon one. Very solid lock up, there is no shaking this out, I've tried and tried and tried, it's not going anywhere. All right, so no keychain hookup, no pocket clip, nothing like that. So this thing's going to have to ride loose in your pocket. It's got that little uh, pill-shaped finger opener. Very thick blade. We'll get back to that later because that is a, a bit of a problem. And overall, guys, not a bad little pocket protector. It's, uh, like I said, it's small. It's relatively lightweight. I believe it said the handles are titanium. But based on the weight, I don't believe it. It's probably stainless with the titanium coating because that is, the handles are, just feel very heavy. You know, the knife is pretty thick, but the handles seem to kind of balance it out. So I think, you know, as much as they say titanium, I don't believe it. So these things are relatively cheap, 20 to $30. Now, I got this home, and my experience with it is a little mixed. So I got it home. First thing I did, because I got a whole bunch of boxes in the mail, was try and break down some cardboard with it. And this thing bound up like you wouldn't believe. I mean, it got like three inches through that cardboard and just stopped. So I checked it, and it's sharp. It took the hair off my arm. It cut through paper. So I took a closer look at it, and the bevel on this thing was very steep. You're talking like, oh, just ridiculous angle on this thing. It looked like it was 45 degrees. Um which is really just not the best thing for such a small knife. So I started looking at this, looking at the geometry, how thick this knife is, the fact that you have that one main bevel here that's kind of full, and then it cuts down. I'm looking at that, and I said, yep, this knife's getting reprofiled. I just think with the S35 steel, and I'm sure it's not real S35 steel, I'm sure it's just some equivalent or whatever. I doubt it's going to live up to CPM S35. That's a really good... Uh, particle steel there so so I had to see I can't just let it go with that so I got to grinding this thing and you can see all the uh, <laughs> all the scratches there so I got to grinding this and took the the bevel back quite a bit in fact I spent about two hours reprofiling this knife with an extra coarse stone and I can say firsthand this is a very hard stainless steel um, yeah, it may not be as tough as S35VN, but it is way tougher than 8CR13, 440C, all of those steels, OS8. Yeah, this is a very hard steel, so don't let it fool you. Don't let the price fool you. Don't let the trolls fool you who say, oh, it's probably just pop metal. You know, there's always going to be those people. But after, you know, spending two hours on this thing, um, not only is it a very hard steel, but it takes a very fine edge, which is a sign of a good steel. And it seems to hold that edge fairly well after the reprofile. So I reprofiled this thing. I took that edge, edge back, you know, like I said, quite a bit. So that now it's, you know, a pretty reasonable angle on this thing. And it slices through cardboard a lot better. Huge improvement there. It slices through paper a lot better and takes that really, really super fine edge that I want out of this thing for such a small knife. I mean, a small knife that you have to put lots of pressure down because it's a, a you know, such a wide 
<laughs> blade. I don't want that. You know, not a knife that doesn't lock. I want it to be a nice thin slicer that just you have to put no effort into. And that's what I'm working at. Now, am I going to take this further? Yeah, of course. Now, when you look at this, you can see I really don't have far to go to essentially make this into a Scandi grind. There's really not a ton left. Um, only a, a pretty minute amount of steel there. And this thing is a Scandi grind. You can see the edge, the bevel difference between the uh, that first bevel and the second one is not that dramatic at all. So I think what I'm going to do is over time turn this into a little Scandi grind, which I'm sure will give it a really just super fine edge. And I can do that in a way that's going to hopefully not affect the integrity of the knife. As it does, I'll buy a new one. <laughs> um, so yeah, so overall guys, I got to say that these and uh, we'll see, we'll probably go over here so I can throw in some footage over here of uh, me sharpening. Yay, just you wanted to see my hairy, gross hands. Um, <laughs> all right, so for 25 bucks, I think this is an interesting choice. I think it's uh, kind of a cool knife. I like the concept of a $25, you know, premium steel knife. Even though it is small, it doesn't lock, all that jazz, and it's really kind of thick around the edges, um, it is a nice opportunity where I can literally profile this exactly how I want it and do what I want with it, which is I want a really just, you know, what I envision this as is like a really nice food prep knife for like camping. I want to like, when I go camping, backpacking, be able to throw this in my pocket and use this for food prep. Just a small little guy that... Uh, I can keep clean, keep chemicals off of, and I don't have to worry about um, getting it dirty. What am I cutting? You know, am I cutting things that'll hurt me? Kind of thing. I want to make it like that dedicated thing, but it'll also have you know a premium enough steel where I won't have to worry about sharpening it all the time like you would with HCR13 or one of the other softer steels. So I'm hoping, hoping <laughs> this will uh, work out for me. But so far, guys, like I said, it's a good chopper, chopper. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a good little slicer once you reprofile that. It did take some time. Like I said, I used extra coarse diamond stones, and it was still about two hours to get it where it's at. But, you know, I just kind of plopped down on the TV. I don't watch a ton of TV, and when I do, I'm usually doing something like this. So I did plop down, sit down, just kind of work on it as I watch TV, slow and steady, just tried to maintain that angle. And it worked out really good. It was a big improvement. It's, I definitely say it's a massive improvement and now I do have a nice little slicer with a nice little keen edge on it. It can definitely go a little bit further. You see there that nice polish I put on that edge. So overall yeah I might buy more of these guys. I really like the Warncliffe but we're going to see. I'm going to work on uh, grinding this down a little bit more. Like I said try and maybe match that uh, first bubble up make this thing kind of a Scandi and if that works. You know, for me, I think I might try a few more of these and see how I like them. But overall, guys, this is a neat little option. Um, you're going to have to sharpen it. You're going to have to reprofile it a bit. But uh, it looks like it may pay off in the end. You know, if you're the kind of guy that doesn't mind putting the work in for something unique. And that's exactly what this is. A very nice, unique, small knife.